Yes, we've been analysing some of the data from yesterday to try and work out why people voted in the way they did. Have a look at our big screen here. You can see every voting area. Remember, voting areas along the lines of local councils rather than constituencies. They're in uh, A to Z alphabetical order at the moment. But if we do this, we can change the order into voting size, size of electorate. So top left, Northern Ireland, that was the biggest voting area. And as you can see, we always knew Northern Ireland was going to vote to remain. But there are some big blue areas here. Cornwall, Sheffield, Durham, Wiltshire, Bradford, all voting last night to leave the EU. Now let's take a look at the map of uh, the UK. Here it is and you get a really clear sense of exactly what happened. Look at Scotland. The whole of Scotland said it wanted to remain in the EU but turnout there was low, uh, lower than other parts of the UK. More on that in a moment. Northern Ireland as well, out. Uh, well, Northern Ireland wanted to remain in but England was always going to be the most Eurosceptic nation and you can see a whole swathe of blue but look at Wales in the run-up to the referendum Wales was always 50 50 there were a lot of people sitting on the fence well they didn't sit on the fence yesterday so many voting areas in Wales deciding to pull out of the EU London of course here a big patch of yellow uh, people in London uh, overwhelmingly wanting to remain in. So what made people decide to vote in the way they did? Well, we always knew that the older you are, the more likely you are to want to leave the EU. Older people tend to be more Eurosceptic. So let's take a look at this. These are the areas of the United Kingdom where a quarter of the population are aged 65 or older. And look at that. All those areas are blue apart from two. Places such as Tendring here, a UKIP heartland. Also very conservative areas. The Suffolk coast, East Devon, the sort of place that uh, more mature people would want to go to live uh, and to retire. But it's not just age. There are other fascinating factors as well. We know that the Labour vote was hugely important. Jeremy Corbyn uh, wanted uh, Labour supporters to vote in, to remain, but clearly that isn't the case. So we can look here at Labour-controlled councils. These are all the Labour-controlled councils where people voted out, and there are plenty of them. Places like Sunderland, South Tyneside, Swansea. And if we look at the Labour-controlled councils which voted in, well, far fewer, aren't there? And also a lot of these are in London, where we knew that the vote would go to remain in. Places like Brent, Croydon, Hounslow, Lewisham. So it is a fascinating picture, and we'll hear a lot more, I think, about that Labour vote as the day goes on. So let's finish by looking at the winning line. The final result in 48.1%, out 51.9%. It looks close when you look at the percentages, but when you actually look at the numbers, you can see that there's more than a million votes in it. Turnout was so important in this referendum because the Remain camp knew that they needed a lot of people to turn out in the areas where they felt most secure. And in reality, that didn't always happen.